Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi the Leo, and today we are doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card is who is secretly watching your social media. So we're going to be tapping into that energy and just seeing if we can give any clues as to who is looking at your social media and what is the reason. You know what I mean? So we're just going to be pulling any information that Spirit can kind of give us about whoever is checking out your social media. So we have four crystals. In in front of you to choose from i know you guys like prefer to choose crystals so pile number one we have the jade crystal pile number two we have the clear quartz pile number three we have the angelite and pile number four we have the black tourmaline so do what you guys need to do to get in the zone the timestamps are going to be in the description box and i will see you guys at your timestamp hey pile one welcome to your reading so we are currently taking a look at who is secretly watching your social media? Um, so Spirit, can you tap me into the higher cells of Pile 1 and show me the energy surrounding them and their social media right now and give me any clues and any energies as to why they are looking at Pile Number 1 social media. So Pile 1, who is currently looking at Pile 1 social media? Spirit, tap me into the higher cells of Pile 1. Oh, 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 oh. Pile one. Straight away, I'm feeling this energy like there's somebody looking at your social media that doesn't want to get caught. It, it's almost taking me to like Instagram and like really being careful that they don't double tap any photos, really being careful that they don't click on a story and their name shows up. Like it's very much done in secrecy. You know what I mean? Like they really don't want to be caught, whoever this is. That's what I just felt straight away. Um, and I don't know why I'm feeling maybe just because of the jade crystal that you've chosen, but I am feeling like this is somebody that either has feelings for you or had feelings for you like you may have been involved with them in the past or i'm curing this could be like the ex of an ex or like ex's new girlfriend or just something like that because it's it's something relating to love and romance anyway is what i'm being told um when i tap into like the energy of the crystal and why you chose that so pile one who is secretly watching pile one social media what i want to say is that you guys are extremely attractive um even if you're like no i'm not like you are i really do feel like people find you very attractive um extremely attractive very alluring um there's something very aesthetically pleasing about you i'm hearing somebody likes your voice i'm hearing somebody likes your style like there's just something about you that i feel like you have quite a few eyes on you like People just like the way that you present yourself and you're, you're interesting, I'm hearing. I'm hearing you're interesting. Now, the first card that fell out is the Five of Swords. Um, so I do feel like this is somebody that is not in your life, but I do feel wants to come back. Um, for the most part, I'm feeling this may be... I'm not necessarily picking up like an ex in regards to a relationship, although it could be because this is a general reading. I'm more picking up that this could be somebody that you were in a situationship with or somebody that you were involved with that feels like they made a mistake stepping out on the connection. So I don't know whether they ghosted you or chose somebody else over you or just decided to play about, play the field, but this person's having regrets. I'm being told, pile one. Um, they're having regrets. I really see them looking at your social media and being like, why did I step away from this person? It feels. Um, pile number one. Pile number one. Who is watching pile number one's social media? Who is watching pile number one's social media? Then mine's very racy because my cards, this usually happens when I'm tapping into somebody's energy that is quite um, here, there and everywhere. Um, my cards just fall out of my hands and I'm having trouble just kind of shuffling while I'm reading because it's very, they have very hasty energy. You know, like I said, they feel like they don't want to get caught on your social media. I don't know whether this person's in a relationship so they don't want to be caught, but there's just something like that where it's like, it's not just secrecy to you, it's secrecy to maybe the people around them. We have justice. I do feel like you may have ended situations with this person on bad terms. There would have been some sort of argument. There would have been you know, a breakdown of the connection, I'm being told. And I feel like this person, I don't know whether they have a lot of Libra in their chat, maybe like Libra Moon or Libra Venus, but there's this energy with this person that they do not like when they're arguing with somebody. They do not like to have bad blood with somebody. And especially with you, I'm feeling 
they do have a lot of love for you they're just very bad at showing it i'm hearing and they want to kind of step towards you to apologize but i almost feel like there's this block so i don't know whether this person is in a relationship or there's a reason why they can't or whether they're just scared that they're going to be told off again that's how it kind of feels as well but i'm hearing that this person has a lot of pride as well doesn't want to admit that they messed up doesn't want to admit that they did wrong that's what i'm being told you so pile one can we have more information as to who this person is that is stalking their social media the page of wands always comes out when i am channeling somebody that is having a little peep on social on someone's social media so it hasn't shocked me that that's come out this person is very much see it like they want to know what you're up to they want to know what you're doing they want to know um who you're around they really want to see where you are in your life to see if they could maybe slot back or there's something that you're doing or maybe it's just like you're posting some really nice photos and they're just like damn i'm missing out the page of wands here this person is looking at your social media quite often i feel um and they're really like it almost feels like i don't know whether you've seen that meme of like squidward and he's in his house and he's looking at the window at spongebob and patrick like having fun outside and it's like a meme and it's like when you when you're grounded and your friends are playing outside like this is this person's feeling <laughs> to you that's how spirit has shown it to me like they feel that way about you like they see you living your best life or they just see you flourishing um and they're not a part of it and they're like why can't i ever be a part of that person's life like that but it's silly that they feel that way because i feel like it's their fault that they are not in your life like that you know what i mean like i feel like they did wrong but they, they definitely feel sorry for themselves in this connection you know what i mean they feel sorry for themselves um they kind of feel like the will's against them um yeah <laughs> we have the lovers card i knew it i felt it like i i feel like this is somebody this person's very sexually attracted to you i do want to say this person feels a lot of feelings like that towards you this person sees you as very attractive and i feel like this person in their mind daydreams about you and them being together i feel like this person may this person could be i guess you'll know if you um you'll kind of know this already but i feel like they may be in a relationship or seeing somebody but it's like it's not this person has a very short track mind it feels they bounce from one person to the next it feels and i just feel like whatever situation they're in right now whether they're single whether they're in a relationship whether they're just playing the field they're not fulfilled they're not happy and they are daydreaming of a situation with you they are looking at your social media but it's such a it's making me feel like it's done in private it's done when no one's around because they can't there's something about secrecy i don't know why they feel like they can't the only way i could maybe put to that is maybe third party like they're in a relationship or seeing someone but it could just be that they've kind of told their friends and everyone like yeah like f that person i don't want to talk to them but inside there's all these hidden feelings um maybe that's what it is um because i feel like you and this person did have a really good connection i'm being told like you really did have um a quite a strong connection and they always think back to it but i'm also hearing you sometimes think back to it too it's not just you so if this is someone that you're like thinking about and you're like oh my god i think it's this person because i keep thinking about them they think about you too like that it's this kind of like and they're playing me katie perry the one that got away it's kind of like that um but they definitely feel sorry for themselves but it's silly because i don't feel like they really they need to be I, the way i'm being made to feel by your spirit guides and my spirit guides is they need to be apologizing to you but in their own mind it's like oh i feel sorry for myself because i'm not happy you know what i mean like they're, they're very for themselves this person may be quite selfish when you knew them um if that's ringing a bell because this person's really more focused on how they feel and how they're missing out instead of what would have happened to break down the connection and what they could do to salvage it they're more focused on like poor me it feels when i'm tapping into their energy but it's like they, sh they shot themselves in the foot i'm being told you know and with the fool that's how they see you i feel like they see your energy is so free-spirited so fun you're so intriguing i do feel that they are very mental um they are very like um they're very in their head a lot they're very for what other people think and they're very ruled by that and they're ruled by materials whereas you're not i feel like you're not like that you're very free spirited you're very high vibrational you're very connected to spirit you're very happy go lucky and they haven't had they're very drawn to that but they haven't had a lot of that in their life and they lack that so they kind of envy you in a sense for having that and they low-key are actually very inspired by you and just the way that you are in your heart they're low-key like that like they low-key 
uh, somewhat envious, but also quite like in awe, like awe inspired by you because of the way you live your life and everything that you may have achieved, I'm hearing. Um, so they kind of look to you for, and I'm hearing it's your heart, it's just your energy, your pure energy, you radiate such a, they're, they're taking me to the Jade Crystal, the heart chakra, the Anna heart, uh, you, you radiate such light from there, I feel like that's your most dominant chakra. And they're so drawn to it because I feel like they don't rise in it like that, they rise in it in the 3D and the more practical side. I'm picking up like, Virgo or Taurus energy um that's what I'm hearing so they're very mental and and for what other people can they're, they're kind of bound by what other people want from them I'm hearing you know they're bound from you know this person wants this from me and this person wants this from me and they're perfectionists this very much Virgo energy they're perfectionists they don't want to let other people down but then they see you and you seem so free-spirited and they're like I want to be like that and that's another reason why they're drawn to you um and they do fantasize about you because there's this energy coming through of if I was with them, everything would be easy. But I feel like they've had chances to be with you. But the thing is, is that they're looking at it through rose tinted glasses. The reason you're so free spirited and the reason you're so connected to spirit is because I'm hearing you've been through a lot. Like you've really gone, you've done a lot of internal work, you've done a lot of spiritual work. And I feel like you've, or you've just gone through a lot that has had you mature at, a, at, an early, at an early age. They don't see that. They don't see it like that. And they just see the end result of you being so big hearted and loving and it's like, I want to be like that. But to be with you, they energetically have to step up to the plate and that triggers them and I feel that they run away. So it's like there's this back and forth of I want to be like that, but they don't put in the work. And then they end up in a scenario where now they're watching your social media and can't be with you and instead reminiscing. Whereas if they did the work, they, it, they wouldn't have to be looking at your social media. They would be with you, you know. Um, this is an energy of someone that knows they've effed up and they've shot themselves in the, their own foot. You know what I mean? Um, we have the Ace of Wands. They are trying to manifest you back. They think of conversations that you will have in the future, it feels like, um, um, there's this energy of, I, what do I say when I come back to this person? How would I even try and come back to this person? What would I say? What would fly now? Are they gonna have a go at me? Um, and they're hearing, like, I'm hearing like they're looking at you in a very new phase in your life or so it seems you seem a lot more prosperous than usual you seem a lot more free-spirited than usual and it's like whoa this person's leveled up and there's a jealousy here you know what I mean because they almost feel like stuck in the mud while you have leveled up and they're just like damn you know um pile number one what is who is stalking their social media and why who is stalking their social media and why <laughs> okay okay so i have three cards that have actually cropped out so i'm gonna have one to clarify the third card first of all we had the knight of pentacles in the world i was only gonna do um eight but i'm gonna add another two because it's come out anyway but we had the knight of pentacles in the world i feel like this person is kind of like they're halting right now because it's like have i really effed this up for good is it really done for good you know that song i want you back I want you back. I want you back for good. I'm hearing that. Like, that's playing. They kind of stood there, halted. Like, is it done? Is it over? I don't know. With the world card, maybe you guys are living overseas from each other. Or maybe one person's living in one country and one's in the other. So there's, like, a distance. Or maybe it's just a mental distance. But there's this energy of is that really the end? They're kind of contemplating like, is that really the end? And they don't want it to be. So they're on your social media. I am hearing for some of you guys, because this is a general reading, you've already made your mind up that that's it. They've done enough. It's done. Like you're moving on and they can see that. So they're kind of like halting, like, is it really over? And they're kind of just like waiting. I'm hearing the Charlie Puth song, We Don't Talk Anymore with Selena Gomez. I'm hearing that. So that's playing as well. But the next card we have, guys, is Emperor. So they see you as extremely attractive, like I said at the beginning. You're very aesthetically pleasing, extremely beautiful, handsome. You just radiate. It's not even just your looks, though, guys. It's your energy in general. Like I said, you have such a hearty energy. You have such an abundant energy. And I'm hearing a lot of abundance is already been trickling its way to you and is going to continue to trickle to you because I feel like you're I'm hearing you're learning to open up and all of this abundance is coming to you now and I feel like that's going to keep happening over the months and this is only going to make this person more eager to step towards you when they see how much you're literally flourishing 
here she comes. I'm hearing the Ariana Grande song, God is a woman when she sings, when you try to come for me, I keep on flourishing. And I'm hearing that, like that's your energy. You're very much flourishing or prospering, or at least that's how you seem on social media. But it's like, you're very much the Empress energy. They are the chariot energy. They're a lot more controlled. They're a lot more, um, I can't do this because of this and I can't quit this job because I need this and I they're very like mentally controlled whereas you are like I walk by faith not by sight I manifest and it comes into fruition and they're just like they wish they could be like that but they're too um I feel like they have a lot of responsibility in their life right now I don't know whether they have kids I'm sure they may have kids or um they may have like um then their, their job may be demanding a lot from them at the moment so there's just a lot of worries in this person's brain this person just bends over backwards for a lot of people but it's like they bend over backwards for the wrong people i'm hearing and then for the right people i'm actually hearing they look over and treat like ish i am gonna say that the people that genuinely should be in their life they literally discard them because they have a problem with receiving love and all of the people that don't necessarily deserve it they kind of give themselves to because they I think this is coming from childhood they feel like you know when you have that wound from childhood where you just want love so all the people that ignore you it triggers a wound that your inner child wants them to turn around and decide that they're worthy so they chase the people that don't like them because if they can get that person that don't like them to turn around and love them that means that they're worthy while people that are genuinely offering their heart to them it doesn't make sense in their brain because they don't know how to receive that love so it triggers them and they run away that's what i'm hearing their energy is like so they're very much bending over backwards for the wrong people right now i'm being told um and that's something that they're gonna have to learn and i'm being told a bold message to you guys you're not their savior and you're not supposed to set them straight that's their own karma to work on do not overextend yourself for them because you're just doing them what they are doing for others you let this person realize it on their own you're not their healer i feel like you're such a light worker in the past you wanted to help them save them look after them but that's their journey and do not overextend yourself keep working on yourself that's a message that just came through for somebody spirit guide it's a lady she has dark hair and like uh like a uh, big kind of like squarey glasses uh like 80s glasses i'm being told um kind of like mine if you've ever seen me wear my glasses but yeah that spirit guy just came through our grandmother or our mother or somebody somebody's ancestor just came through to say you're not their savior you know you're not their savior the back of the deck as well we have the eight of wands guys so i just really feel like this person's energy is very wishy-washy this person's energy um the minute they have something, they get bored and they want something else. Right now, they don't have you. They want you. You know what I mean? They're very like that. And it's just like they're never content with what they have because they do not give to themselves. They look for external to fill up that void. Nothing's filling up that void. So that's what I'm being told about their energy. So I'm just going to pull a couple more oracles um, to just get a bigger picture. So pile one. Who is looking at pile number one social media and why? We have humour. I choose to focus on the light side of life. They're very bound right now by, like, physical, like, 3D world responsibilities. And the thing about you is you bring a lot of light to their life. You have a childlike essence to you. I don't know whether you're a Leo or you have a lot of fifth house placements, but you have a childlike essence to you. Again, you, you live in that empress energy. You live in that fool energy. You live from the heart. You've got some Aries energy in you maybe as well. And I just feel like... Um, they when they're around you it's like you open them up to possibilities that they wouldn't really think of whereas like when you're not in their life they're back to their 3d kind of world and the people in it and then more life feels a little bit mundane but with you it almost looks like wow this person is my like like to like the other side it, it does feel like that but it's like that's not that's codependency you know that's a codependency codependent way of thinking because you're not their savior you're not their healer they, they shouldn't it shouldn't be like that they should have all of that light already within them and not lean on you because that's just going to drain you and it's not fair on you you know um but that is how they see you and they, they see you as such a light it's like i wish i could just like run away with this person if, if that's how they kind of feel yeah <laughs> yeah this person's indecision this person's definitely got mercury and on Mercury, um, Virgo, there we are, they may have Mercury, Virgo, um, but they do have Virgo, um, pretty strong somewhere in their chart, if it's not in the sun, moon, rising, 
spirit made me like word vomit mercury so they may have it in their mercury or they may just have a lot of virgo in their chat because you know it says i use my intuition in all aspects of life they don't do that they don't do that they think logically with the eight of wands at the back of the deck they're back and forth they don't know what they want they're too much perfectionists they overthink everything they try to please everybody and it's just like that's why they're in the decision that they're in the situation that they're in right now because i actually feel as well that with the indecision card there may have this is a general reading take it as a resonance there may have been a decision between you and somebody else you will already know about this if i'm telling you and they chose wrong because they were so indecisive about what they wanted and i feel like if they did choose somebody else I'm here with the other person. I don't want to slander the other person because, you know, we're all like beings on our own path. But I'm hearing that other person was very, um, I don't think you realised there was some sort of competition. They did. And I feel like the other person was very much pick me, pick me. Try to hold up a facade of what they were um, to try and get that person on their side. Whereas I feel like you would just be in you in general. And I just feel like this, I don't know whether you put in a boundary with this person or whatnot, but something happened where you put in a boundary while the other person was just like trying to lick their wounds for them to try and make them choose them so then this person was like again i feel like this person allows other people to make decisions for them this person went to the other person i'm hearing just because they felt like it would be easier at the time but they made a mistake this is for that scenario if they didn't go to another person it may just be that um that a lot of their energy went towards their work or they just decided to run away or play the field whatever the situation guys they are not entirely happy in it they're not at peace in it i'm hearing so i'm just going to pull one last card for you guys pile one who is secretly watching pile one's social media pile one who is secretly watching pile one's social media oh, 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 oh. too many cards too many cards who is secretly watching pile number one social media? Who is secretly watching? Oh my god, too many cards. This person's head is all over. I'm not even lying. They may have a Gemini moon. They may have an air moon. Or a Virgo moon. Pile one. Oh, hello, hello. Yeah, okay. We have Pluto transformation. Now, what I'm actually being told with this card is you've transformed since you've known them. They see you like this. You've really leveled up. You've really flourished. You've really done everything. I'm hearing you've done everything that you said you would do. So I don't know whether you were telling them like, oh, I'm going to start working for this job or I'm going to start working for myself or I'm going to do this, this and that. And they were almost like, yeah, okay. But now I'm hearing a lot of you guys, you've you've gone and done it. Or maybe like, oh, I'm going through this spiritual awakening. And they were like, yeah, okay. But then you actually like gone through this evolution and grow and glowed up like internally or whatever it is that you told them before that you said you were going to do you're actually doing it and now they're seeing it now and they're like oh my god okay like there's that energy and with the 11 here i do think it's something spiritual maybe for some of you guys but also i just feel like you've transformed a lot anyway and the thing is about you i do feel like you might have a lot of eighth house placements or just a lot of scorpio on your chart um or pluto really rules your chart and i just feel like whenever you they come back to you because i feel like this has been like ongoing i feel like you've known them for quite some time um they basically see you in a different light every time because you always grow every time they've come back to you you've grown you've changed and it's like they can't keep up and it's like they keep running back to you because it's like you're a different person every time and they're like wow 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 you know what i mean i really don't feel like you baffle them pile one I really do feel like you do but they're on your social media heavily um this was a very in-depth scenario that i didn't expect it to go as this in-depth in but they've just given me a whole story here so obviously i'm just gonna say what comes through to me but this person is really wanting to come back to you but what i will say as advice from what i'm picking up from the energies from me to you um stay in your own energy stay in your light keep working on yourself um i'm not saying you know you have to listen to your intuition if you you know if this person did come back and you wanted to go back to them fine but what i am going to say is with the indecision and the eight of wands i'm going to pull this because i'm telling me to pull this with the two of swords as well they do not know how to make decisions they don't know what they want and i just feel i don't feel like they're necessarily ready to still do the inner work i feel like if they did come back they try and attempt um what they might have done before i feel i feel like you pull a, pulled a lot of weight in the connection when it was a connection before and i'm just sharing to really make sure that you're being discerning and 
and putting boundaries when this person does come back because it's almost like this person has that you know like that bird when they see the shiny tie and they go and swipe it and then they run away and you know that type of syndrome that's what they have i feel and i'm not denying that they do have feelings for you because but because they do but i just feel like they have a lot of wounds to release and i feel like you've already worked on wounds that they haven't you know what i mean and i feel like you've already ascended past this point and you have the free will to go back if you want to but i just feel like i feel like there's more in the future for you that's just my opinion so take that with a pinch of salt because you have to listen to your intuition but that's just my opinion um so yeah i guess you probably understand who this person may be <laughs> um because that kind of went pretty into detail so i hope you enjoyed this hit the thumbs up if it resonated comment down below if it did i'm hoping you guys have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching this and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching Welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at who is secretly watching your social media. So we're going to be taking a look at who this person may be and hopefully looking into why they're looking at your social media and what their feelings are. So any information that's broken, give us about this person. Um, I will basically relate to you so that you can really get a good idea of who it is. Um, so Spirit, can you tap me into the collective of the higher selves of Pile 2? Oh, oh my God. I really like your energy pal too like I don't know why I'm being shown this beautiful white light I feel like you're very divinely connected like I really like your energy um you have such a bright light I do feel like sometimes I know I'm getting into this about you guys but I'm just picking up your energy like really quickly I'm hearing sometimes you guys suffer with anxiety and things like that because you're very hypersensitive sometimes um because you are very empathic very clairsentient and you you prefer to live in your upper body your your higher energy than the more grounded energy just because it's more of what you know your soul is from very high vibrations very high dimensions you're definite star seeds you have a beautiful bright light i felt very familiar i wanted to give you a hug then um so now i'm sending you a virtual hug right now but yeah your energy feels really nice really really nice um yeah but there's an energy here that you need to start protecting your energy you pick the clear quartz and i'm being told that you need to start protecting your energy maybe burn some sage or get some protective crystals i personally wear a black tourmaline around my neck every day basically so just maybe crystals like that or just sage or maybe just do some affirmations of protection um because i feel like you have such a burning bright light but i'm sure it does trigger people so that just came through before i even began that was just a bit of energy that came through so there we are, take that. Um, pile two. Pile two. Who is currently watching pile number two social media? I'm hearing quite a few people. But I'm also hearing, like, you're quite misunderstood by people sometimes. People look, like... I don't know whether you have, like, Neptune in the first house. Um, but there's just this energy that people all have their own versions of who you are in your mind. But none of them reigns true. You're almost like a walk-in... I'm not going to say walk in contradiction, that sounds a bit negative, but it's just this energy that people, everybody has a different opinion of you. There's quite a few people on your social media looking at you, but they all have different opinions of you. I feel like you're very multi-faced, and I don't mean that in a negative way, but I just mean that you're different with different people because you embody people's energies when you're with them. So a different character of you is with other people. Do you understand what I mean? A different character of you comes out with different people. And I know like that can happen for a lot of people, but I just feel for you it's more it's more strong, you know? Um pile one, who is the main energy that is looking at pile one not pile one, pile two social media. Pile two, who is looking at pile two social media and why? Who is this person? Okay, this feels like an ex friend yeah 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 yeah. this feels like an ex-friend this is somebody that i feel like you don't you've either expressed that you don't want to speak to or you would have cut off and stepped away from um this feels like somebody that was maybe shut out of your life and somebody that just kind of it's like they just feel like they cut it, it, this it's been a long time since you've spoken to this person it feels and when they were in your life they were very jealous and there's this energy of wanting to be back in your life but it's like they know that they can so they look at your social media it feels you've you cut this person off i don't know whether you distanced yourself whether you told them straight whether you put in boundaries or whether i'm hearing they may have shown their true colors you're very discerning but this person 
again, they saw a side of you that they wanted to see and not who you really were. I feel like they saw you as very head in the clouds. And even though you live in high vibrations, yes, okay, your head's in other realms, but you're very discerning of people and you're very intuitive. And this person did not know that you were reading them to filth when they were around you and they thought that they could get away with things that I feel like you caught on to. I don't know, I'm hearing somebody whispering in someone's ear, so I don't know if somebody said something about you behind your back or whether somebody was just very jealous of you and tried to put you down to other people. But there's this energy of a lot of jealousy here and now it's like, I can't come back into this person's life. They don't want me in that life, it feels. So I want to get further into this um, spirit. Pile two, who is looking at pile two social media? Yeah, we have the Two of Cups reversed. So again, this could maybe be an ex from the past, but I am feeling more, this is more friendshipy. Um, But you can relate it to an ex if you'd like to, um, because this is a general reading, but this is talking about a dynamic of two people that is split. So you would have spent some time with this person. You may have been quite close with this person, um, or you might have just like, they may have been like a best friend at one time, or um, it may have been just you two, or... Um, Something really went on between you and this person, it feels. Again, related to an ex or even a family member if you need to. But the majority of the energy does feel like friendship. But it could be like a cousin or something like that as well, I'm being told. Um, remember, this is general. So pile two. Why is this person looking at their social media? And who is this person looking at their social media? Yeah, we have the six of cups reverse. So this person is very much got a lot of memories of you from the past you spent a lot of time with this person maybe in the past they have a lot of memories and i feel like this person does kind of live in the past i don't feel that this person has a lot of people around them um like a lot of friends i feel like the same dynamic that they've had with you i feel like they've had with other friends i feel like a lot of other people have distanced themselves from this person not just you but i feel like there's something about you you're such a bright light and i feel like I do feel at times they did try to tear you down. It wasn't that they didn't like you, but it was like, you shine so bright, them standing next to you, they felt like they were fading into the background. So the only way that they knew how was to kind of put you down for them to maybe feel better about themselves. It didn't work because I'm hearing anyone that knows you knows the light that you are, but uh, they attempted it. You know, they really attempted to try and like lower you to make themselves feel better but it just didn't work it really didn't work um and this person does think about the past a lot um i'm actually being shown somebody looking at snapchat memories so i don't know whether you had like loads of snapchats together or whether this person just has loads of facebook memories but there's something like that where they keep there's something in in their mind that keeps being reminded back to you i don't know whether it was just you in this in this friendship or whether there was more than just one person um because i feel like a lot of people have fallen away but i just feel like they're reminded about the people from their past a lot you know what i mean but i just feel like this person has a lot to learn they're not very self-aware and there's almost this energy of they are somewhat clueless as to why you stepped away even though i feel like it's very apparent and if they were self-aware they would see but there's just this energy of feeling very jealous of you watching where you're at um king of swords has just dropped out as well there's almost this energy that they they want to know what you're up to but they also want to know like it's like there's this energy of how how has this person flourished the way that they have how has this person done for themselves what they have how is this person doing is that they want to know because they want to come to your profile and see that you're doing worse than them when in actuality i feel like you guys are flourishing it seems that way at least on your social media and it's like they keep looking and i feel like this person's very critical but they're not just critical of others they're very critical of themselves but i just feel like they're cri they were very critical when they were in your life they criticized you a lot maybe clothes you wore makeup you wore um you know relationships you were in just the way you were they try to criticize everything and i feel like even now they look at your social media and they try to critique everything that they see just to make it better in their own brain because when i said that i tapped into your energy and you felt so amazing you were very high vibrational you see things from a very ascended point and i'm not saying no one no one's better than anyone no one's worse than anyone but you know we're all on our own journeys but where this person is at right now and where they were when you knew them they're quite small-minded quite egotistical very um their ego is very much still in that box they haven't broken out of it so i feel like maybe you're working as something that's not very conventional like in a sense of like 3d like you're not necessarily working a nine to five 
leave. I feel like you're working on a project that's quite out there. Or maybe you're just doing stuff for yourself that's quite out there. Maybe you are, I do feel like you're spiritual. Maybe you're putting your spirituality on Instagram, Facebook, whatever social media um, that you use. And they're just looking at it and they just can't even comprehend it in their brain. So they try to pick at it. But it's not, you know, I don't feel like it's doing any damage. Like, I just feel like it's just them going into a little spiral in their brain. I feel like you're out here unbothered and blessed. Like, that's how I feel about you. And I just feel like they're like, how? How? You know what I mean? It's like, how? Um, and I also, I'm also hearing, like, you bounce back from the most negative situations. And they may have even heard that you were in a negative situation, but you bounced back. And they're like, how? How is this person bounced back? They shouldn't be as happy or as full of love as they are right now. They've been through this, this, and this. They shouldn't be like that. It's like it doesn't make sense in their brain because they, they don't look at it from a higher perspective. Because they don't look at life for themselves in a higher perspective. This person's very money, goals, power. You know, that's how they are. And you just baffle them, I'm hearing. I feel like you've always baffled them. Everything that you've said, you know, in the past, I feel like they tried to undermine you. You know, they tried to undermine you. Yeah, six of wands. They're like, how is this person winning? How is this person still in that bright energy? How is this person still going? How is this person having victory after victory? It's almost like this feeling of like, it's not fair. But it's silly that they feel like it's not fair because I feel like I'm almost feeling like they are quite privileged in a sense like they've had very much a head start it feels or they at least um they've had a lot of ease they've had an easy ride of it it feels whereas you i feel like you're very much on a divine mission and when we're on a divine mission we have a calling that's quite high and i don't mean high as in better than anyone else but you just have a very strong mission we have to go through negative things in order to find wisdom and find love. You've done that and you understand that and you keep winning and you keep, you know, reaching new heights. And I just feel like they have had things handed to them and they're almost looking at you like it's not fair that you keep bouncing back and winning, yet you've been through so much and I don't feel that they've been through a lot. I feel like you have like sat in the 10th house or something like that. They have had life very easy but yet they're looking at you like it's not fair because you keep bouncing back you know what i mean but that isn't anything external that was nothing that was handed to you that was internal strength that you have gained through the hardest of hearts to keep going and keep pushing because i feel like you're here to help other people i'm being told they just don't see it in their mind it's like well if you've been through all of that you shouldn't be where you're at right now they're so logical it's like they, they they just they just don't get it you know you really do spin their mind the way when i tap into their energy my mind's spinning it's like you keep bouncing back you have such a warrior spirit they're like what like what it just feels that way um and the knight of wands it's like i feel like they feel kind of defensive towards you i don't know whether there was an argument in the past um but they're kind of like um I feel like you've gone from strength to strength since you let go of this person. And it's almost like, I wouldn't say fear and like, I'm scared, but there's almost like, what would this person say to me now? Because I feel like in the past, you had more of a people pleasing energy. You had an energy where you gave a lot of light and love. That's why you stuck around for this person so long because you saw the light in them. And I feel like they were able to step over your boundaries because you didn't have very clear boundaries in the past. And they were able to kind of walk over you a bit and I feel like you stepping away from them was a part of you putting in boundaries and learning to love yourself and not allowing people like that but now that they see you have boundaries they're very your energy speaks boundaries where you're at right now I feel and they know how they can see how far you've come because they've really been documenting you in the sense that they've really been checking up on you for a long time and with that being said, it's like, how would this person react to me now? Because the way I would step towards them before, trying to like tear them down to make myself feel good, I know that wouldn't fly with me right now. So I don't even know what I would say. And also, you just keep flourishing. It's like, they, I don't feel like they necessarily want to come back into your life because it's like, if they came back, they feel like you would outshine them. And that's the thing. If they put that energy into themselves for literally five minutes they could be their own shining star but they're more focused on other people because they don't really like themselves very much which is actually quite sad so they are trying to tear other people's stars to kind of put on their jacket to to shine when actually 
that light is actually coming from within no matter who they tear down it's not i don't even feel like they're ever successful in trying to tear people down and i don't even feel like they realize that they do it to a sense because it's embroidered in them they've done it all their life they do feel a little bit i don't want to like bad, bad mouth this person because i can see this person isn't a fan of themselves really but they see life in a very um that uh, they do look down on people that's their energy they do look down on people um i'm not gonna go further into that because i don't want to slander them but they do look down on people and you're not like that you're the type of person to treat the ceo and the janitor with the same respect you have such a pure heart and you see everybody as love you know what i mean which is the way it should be but they are very status they are very um I do feel like how well like money and things like that they're very like that and I, I feel like you've come from not a lot of money and I feel like either you're on the path of earning money or you've already started having your blessings blessings either way you're going to make quite good money there's this energy I'm hearing Justin Bieber I'll show you I don't know whether you've ever heard that song and he sings there's one thing I know for sure I'll show you like a lot of people have underestimated you even this person especially and you just keep kept bouncing back and you're I really hear you're gonna make a really good name for yourself and I feel like you're garnering a lot of respect and a lot of blessings are coming to you I'm hearing self-made success for you guys but this person just doesn't this person's had stuff handed to them they don't understand it and it's like it to them it's like it's not fair that this person is attractive this person has that light within them this person has a lot going for them and then they're going to have status and money as well that isn't fair that's how they're looking at it it's it's just plain jealousy is what it is so i don't feel like they want to necessarily come back to your life because it's like they'd feel inadequate it feels they just want to it's almost like they want to hear that you're not doing good which is not a nice energy and i don't mean it in the way that they don't like you because i'm here and when they were your friend they actually really liked spending time with you but it's just like this is their own insecure this is nothing on you this is nothing that you can change you need to keep shining your light because this is their own insecurities and triggers they have to work on you know it's sad but it is what it is they, they need to work on it themselves um yeah we have the ten of swords they just don't they're very insecure pile pile two they're very insecure and it hasn't shocked me that you chose the clear quartz as well because the clear quartz helps us protect ourselves helps us cleanse our aura um helps us you know get rid of any negative energies and surround us with that beautiful white healing energy and i just feel like when this person was in your life this person did make you feel low sometimes i feel um there isn't a very n nice energy that I feel you felt around them too much and I just feel like you were really protected from this person this person never got to tear you down at all but I do feel like this person did make you insecure sometimes and with the clear quads energy I just feel like that's another way of like protection like don't worry this person just doesn't have a hold over you but there's just the reason you chose the clear quads for that protective energy because this person doesn't have the best they don't treat themselves nice so they're not going to treat anyone else amazingly either you know um it's coming from within and then it, it's it expands outward this person has a lot of shadow work to do um and with the death card as well like you've been through so much of a transformation um that they just don't understand it it's like how they i just keep hearing in my mind how how is this person flourishing the way that they are how is this person doing so good it, they're, they're annoyed you know i'm also feeling that you used to have a lot of attention from um romantic interests and they didn't so much and now they're just like they, they were just kind of like what does this person have that i don't like they would always compare themselves and the reason that you had such a lot of romantic interests is because you're such a bright bubbly energy i'm being told whereas they were very critical and they put out the energy of insecurity when we put out an in energy of insecurity people can read energy whether they're energy readers or not necessarily like naturally because we are all souls so we're pushing that away and i feel like they do they did push people away just out of their own insecurity yeah we have the service card i feel good when i can help others now what i want to say is i do feel you're a very very good person and by that i mean i feel like you really just have this light that you want to help people i really felt it when i started reading for you guys you have such a pure heart and this person knew that but i feel like i don't know whether when you stopped speaking or if this was a romantic connection you broke up or whatever the case i do feel like this person tried to 
make out that you were a bad person because you put in boundaries and stepped away it didn't work i want to say everybody you know like i said people can read energy people know that you're a light energy and anyone that's been in their life i do feel they've done this same scenario with other people people know you're a light energy but i feel like there's something i don't know whether it's on your social media something that you do to help people i don't know whether you're humanitarians so you're doing humanitarian work or whether you are in the spiritual fields and you know you're helping people and they can see that but there's this energy of they're seeing you do that and it's just like it's it's almost it's not irritating to them but it's just again there's this question of how 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 you know what i mean you've been through all that how and they don't even resonate in that energy where they want to necessarily give to people they resonate in an energy where it's just like me and mine's and they don't understand that you where that energy in you comes from it's just like it, it's they can't even correlate with it you know what i mean to the point where it's just like is this person's act like this person's actions aren't real even though they are because i think anyone can clearly see you have such a hearty soul but they can't even register it in their brain you know what i mean and the reason that they can is because they don't even treat themselves with love and care to even treat other people with this so they don't even know it like that to um to understand it in others and i just feel like even I feel like their parents or the way they grew up, it was very like money, here's money, here's gifts, here's toys, here's everything that you've ever wanted. But I don't feel that they had nurturing, loving energies growing up. They just had status, power, money. It was that type of dynamic, you know what I mean? We also have adversity. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. Your, they see you like that. They see that you overcome a lot. They're actually quite jealous of your strength. And I feel like you're very different to other people around your area. I don't know whether you come from like a small town or something, but you're very different to, or even like the way that you grow up, your family, you're different to your family. You, like I said, you're star seeds, you're, you're light beings, you dress different, you act different, you move about different, you take leaps of faith, you're very connected to spirit, you, you have a lot of faith. I feel like some of you guys may be Sagittarius, I have Sagittarius a lot on ninth house placements, but... There's a lot of bright energy like that and I just feel like they see you as very different but it's like how how do they have that uniqueness because I feel like they lack it but the only reason that they lack it is because they don't know themselves. If they knew themselves and honed in on their own gifts they too would be unique and different. They too would shine their light but they don't even know how to do it. You know what I mean? They don't they just don't get it. Pile two, who is the person looking at their social media? Hello, okay. Yeah, we have the 11th house friends. I do feel like this person was a friend. And like I said, the 11th house can sometimes indicate like groups of friends, more than one friend. And I just feel like maybe you were in a group of friends with this person. Um, but I just feel like this person doesn't have a lot of friends. And I feel like you're not the only person that they look back at like this. But you have a lasting impact because you're such a light energy. And... Um, they are still kind of baffled by you you know yours i feel like you're a six, walking success story or you will be and this is going to continue to baffle them um but it's almost it's also giving them food for thought so if you think okay i learned boundaries with this person i learned that what are they actually learning from me you're giving them food for thought you're giving them um don't underestimate people don't try and put people in a box and you also you and a few other people because I again I feel like you've they've learned this with other people you and a bunch of people are teaching this person to become more self-aware that you can't treat people the way that you are that you need to look within you you know there's quite a few people in their life that is going to teach them this and I feel like you're one of the stronger ones that is teaching them this um because you never looked right left back behind for your light and for your success you looked within channeled it crafted it and became a success story and you didn't lean on anyone for that so they're looking at you like okay you know it's almost like they can they're getting pointers from you even when they don't realize it um and that's why i want to tell you guys to keep shining your light because you're doing everything right and there was nothing wrong that you did in this connection um even if maybe you didn't deal with stepping away in the right way at the right time at, at the time i'm feeling because you knew what to do in that moment you know what i mean you did the best that you could in that moment with what you had and i feel like 
this person was part of a few people maybe that kind of made you feel insecure so that you could really look within and find yourself i feel like you've dealt with that losing yourself to find yourself and i feel like this person played a part in it so now that you've bounced back and you flourished it's like whoa you know what i mean and i just feel like this connection was definitely very much fated to happen um but i'm just gonna say for you keep shining your light it's clearly working here you know what i mean and it it's having them look within themselves so just keep shining your light keep going i'm here when you're on the right track when i tapped into your energy you had that beautiful energy keep shining that light keep shifting keep changing keep you know integrating yourself keep being kind keep being unique because that is what makes you 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 know um you can't help you know being the light being that you are so just keep going okay um so that's all i have for you pile two i hope this was clear for you um hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed and this resonated comment down below if it did too um i'm sending you guys lots of love um i hope you're having a beautiful morning evening afternoon whenever you're watching this and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pile three welcome to your reading so you guys chose the beautiful angel like crystal and we're going to be looking at who is secretly looking at your social media so i'm going to try and get information on who this person is and i'm going to get information on why they're looking at your social media and what their feelings are anything to kind of make you understand who it is you know what i mean see if we can get anything so spirit please tap me into the higher selves of pile number three um who is secretly looking at their social media straight away i'm being shown a bright pink light so i don't know whether you're like strongly connected to your heart chakra because pink is like the higher the higher heart chakra so i don't know whether you you know you kind of work through your heart chakra or whether you just like the color pink maybe you wear a lot of pink clothes or have a lot of pink this, this person knows you for that i don't know why i'm just seeing this pink energy um it could just be that you work through your heart chakra though guys it could just be your aura you may have a very bright pink aura um some of you so pile three who is looking at pile three social media who is looking okay we have the six of cups so this could be somebody from your past this could be somebody that um this is definitely somebody that you know this isn't like somebody that has secret feelings it feels it's like this is somebody that you know you may have been in a situation with them before a relationship this could be a friend let's get a bit more information um yeah we have this six of swords so this could be an ex you guys um this could be an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend um this could be again it could be an ex-friend but i'm i am picking up some romance here um this feels like there would have been a breakup that this, this feels like there would have been some um two people have departed here it feels i i want to get more into this because it's like it's kind of hard to pull on their energy they they're actually coming through very reserved i don't know whether they're like a taurus rising or like a capricorn rising they seem very reserved very earthy so they don't give a lot away um so it's quite hard to tap into their energy to be honest so let's get a little bit deeper um pile three who is looking at pile three social media who is looking at pile three's social yeah. <laughs> oh yeah they feel reserved and then tara's like yep yeah, four pentacles very reserved very reserved they would not want you even knowing that you're looking at their social media because it's like they don't i don't feel that they were very expressive when they were in your life i feel like you know them as being quite maybe wishy-washy or just they didn't give a lot they were very for themselves very reserved didn't open up their emotions a lot they may be like a capricorn moon taurus moon um this is somebody that doesn't like to share their feelings or be vulnerable we have the seven of swords so i don't know whether this person hurt you or whether what stopped them coming out about their feelings was they were afraid of being hurt but i do feel like you were hurt by this person i do feel like you felt betrayed by this person i do feel like you um something went down here i want to pull even more cards they're very hard to get into pile three hopefully as i get into the reading and i tap in further we can get them to open up a little bit um spirit can you help me tap into this person's energy for pile three who is looking at their social media yeah we have the nine of wands there's this energy that if they reach out to you you're going to tell them off they don't want to extend that olive branch in case you shoot them back they're very far um how it might look you know what i mean they're very far 
they don't want to look silly they don't want to lose pride they don't want to step out of their ego their ego is very strong um and they just yeah three of swords they're scared of coming towards you with an offer and then you pushing them back i feel like they're scared like that might hurt them i also feel like it's funny because they're scared of getting hurt, but them being scared of getting hurt ended up hurting you, which is, you know, it's not nice. I feel like you were hurt by this person or this person could have done a lot more to show you that they wanted you or show you that they cared or if you hear airplanes, guys, I'm sorry, they've decided to start like, I don't know what they're doing up there doing races or something, but they're quite loud. So sorry if that disturbs the reading. Um, But yeah, there's just this energy that they they could have done more and they didn't they held back this person holds back they want to embody these feelings but they have no idea how to you know what i mean it's it's odd i'm actually hearing they may have scorpio moon um they're not very good at expressing how they feel um but it's a shame because they do feel a lot for you but it's like they were scared of you hurting them but instead it, you ended up hurt they ended up hurting you and i feel like even whatever this is the six of six of swords this breakdown this uh there's a lot of swords here actually look at all that guys there's a lot of emotions going on that they are not sharing they're not sharing any of this with you it's like they have all of these feelings but they just don't even know how to get it out and i feel like since you haven't been speaking um that's actually cut them up more than you realize i feel like you may have a feeling that this person's very cold very they don't care very flippant and yes their actions say it but their emotions within are telling me a different story but it's like almost like they just don't want to let that out they may be an aquarius moon they don't want to let it out they don't want people to know they don't want people to know how they're feeling um they don't like to feel weak they don't like to look weak they don't like to look vulnerable and i feel like they're very much on your social media right now um just trying to get answers get clarity get closure see what you're doing secretly they're quite jealous but they don't show it so they're taking a look at who you might be with um sorry for the planes guys let me wait for that to go overhead okay yeah there's just a, their actions are contradicting their emotions um because when i tapped into them they wanted me to feel this energy that they're very grounded very reserved they don't care too much but then i'm like spirit tap me into their feelings and then it's like look at the swords like that tells a different story they, they feel a lot different well the two of ones they're kind of looking at your social media and being like how could things have gone different how could it have gone how could i what else could i have said what if i did tell them how i felt what if i was vulnerable what if i did let them know um how i was feeling what if i told them how much i was hurting um you know there's a lot of what ifs i'm here on the jason trullo song what if um but yeah there's just this energy of it's like a missed opportunity or like the one that got away and it's just you may be in john to pell one as well but it's just this energy of um they want to go back in time and they keep looking at your social media because that's the only way they don't want to let go so by looking at your social media it's like um it's still the connection's still alive in a way you know what i mean they're still holding on to you in that sense i feel like you may have even peeped them looking at your social media because i'm seeing somebody seeing somebody looking at their stories I don't know whether that was you or whether that was them, but I'm just hearing that. Um, yeah, we have the Ace of Cups. I feel like this person is kind of wishing for another chance. This person is wishing for another go at the connection, I feel. I feel like this person really wants a new start or a fresh start. This person sees you as full of abundance and full of love. And they have that within them but they don't know how to share it whereas i feel like you're a lot more expressive and you do have such a light energy the fact that you pick the angel light you do have a very comforting energy a very sweet energy you make them feel very good and it's like they see that in you and i want you to know if this connection ever made you feel insecure i want you to know that they do see your light they see how you're worthy they see all of that but there is too much mental constrict restrictions and too much um ego here for them to fully kind of let that come out with their words yet because they find it really hard to do that and the back of the deck guys we do have the queen of pentacles so this is how they view you i don't know whether you're a water sign i am picking a pisces energy for you guys you may have a lot of pisces if not i am seeing some cancer energy but i see you're really working on yourself right now you're really working on self-love you're really nurturing yourself you're looking after yourself you're looking good you're feeling good i feel like you're really 
really putting all that energy that you may have given them into yourself and they see that and they're just like they re like they there is this energy that they've messed up you know what i mean you definitely would have been drawn to one of the other piles i'm i, I was gonna say i'm not gonna say but i realized i did, did just tell you you may have been drawn to pile one so there we go but there is a similar kind of energy here where they feel like they've shot themselves in the foot kind of like i've messed up here but for this one it's more it's vulnerability they're scared to be vulnerable they're scared to um kind of put themselves on a limb and just say this is how i feel they're too reserved they are scared of looking silly or they're scared of they have a problem with um I can't even explain what it is that they have a problem with it because I'm here only they, they can give love and they like to receive your love but then at the same time it's like it triggers them at the same time it, it's such a they're contradicting themselves almost it feels they need to do some work on their heart chakra their heart chakra is not entirely open to be able to give you the love that you deserve your heart chakra is very open if anything i feel like your heart chakra may be a little bit overactive um i feel like you're kind of learning right now instead of giving that love everywhere else it, you do need to give it to yourself i feel like this connection may have taught you that but they there is it's just it's not it doesn't feel like it's functioning properly it's it's not all the way blocked it's definitely not overactive, but I wouldn't say it's overly blocked. I'd say it's underactive. They have trouble moving through it. And I'm also hearing their sacral chakra. Um, they have problems with their sacral chakra as well and expressing themselves. And it, it's, it, they're quite insecure. Um, that's something that they wouldn't want to say out loud, but they are. Um, they're quite insecure and that stops them. Um, and it has them messing up situations. Now, this card has not shocked me coming out grief because I do feel like this person is very... Um, not just in regards to you like they're feeling low about it they're feeling like they want to come back to your life but this person has a lot of grief from their past so i don't know whether they had an ex or a relationship that really hurt them that really is still kind of in them like a thorn where they can open up and it's causing them to stay as the four pentacles are closed off or whether it was something from their family but there's something that's they're still grieving over that they are kind of brushing under the carpet and they need to work on it um and it's something to do with a relationship in their heart they're going through a lot of karmic wounds right now um is what i'm being told pile three who is this person looking hello hello okay hello peace peace i'm a being of love and i release all negative energy yeah with the peace card i do feel like you're they see you as very at peace at peace with yourself i don't know you know i feel like you definitely are learning self-love and whatnot you're doing shadow work but they see you as their peace like i said you feel to me like you have strong pisces energy in your chart and it's funny that i saw big pink energy when i first tapped into your energy because like i said pink is the energy of the higher heart chakra and you give off such a hearty energy you work through your anahata and they are so drawn to that and the reason that they're so drawn to you is because they lack that energy in the heart chakra you have a lot to give and being around you helps them tap into their own heart chakra in some way even though it does trigger them at the same time they're drawn to you f because you heal them like that but what i do want to say to you is yes okay you may be a little bit of their peace but like at the same time they're not at peace within themselves and i feel like sometimes you have a tendency to overextend and i feel like that's what's happened in the past you've overextended they've taken they've run away you've been left drained so make sure that you're giving that energy to yourself because you're not anybody's healer so i want you to understand that you're not anyone's healer you're not anyone's teacher you're not anyone's giver you are your own person and you need to give that energy to you they need to find that within themselves they can't just keep taking it from other people they need to learn to heal and i know that's hard maybe for you to hear because you have the queen of pentacles but look what was behind the queen of pentacles the temperance card you need to be given that to yourself and i do feel you're doing it right now but that's just a little reminder for you you're nobody's healer okay um and I do have blame at the back of the deck. So I don't know whether when you stopped speaking, there was an argument and you both blamed each other. Um, that's kind of how it's coming out. But I do feel like if there was an argument and you left on bad terms, this person knows where they messed up. They may not want to admit it, but they know where they messed up. Um, they do. They may not even say that to you, but in their mind, they know. 
um they may have even tried to paint you out to be a bad person or that you did wrong you know with the blame energy but it's like i don't feel that like you did i feel like you may have put in a boundary with them or something like that or whether you caught something sneaky about them and you were just like no or maybe they just you know you were sick of them giving you scraps and you were like here's a boundary you know give me my words like i'm giving you or oh, we're just gonna have to dead this because i can't keep giving you the same energy while you're giving me nothing that's how it feels um and then this person kind of like ran away pile three but this person does like you you know with the two of ones here that they are really looking at your social media but it's like they try to stop themselves from thinking of you as well like they'll go on your social media and then they'll like tell themselves like oh we're over this we're over this but then the next day they're on your social media again it's like admit to yourself that you have these feelings you know what i mean like they can't even admit that to themselves they're so they don't like to feel emotions like that you know pile number three who is watching pile number three social media this is for sure like a situation ship or an ex yeah we have the eighth house endings and beginnings I really do feel like this person does not want this situation to be over. This person is still hoping that this situation is still open for them to come back to. They are wary of coming back with the Nine of Wands because they are scared of being shut down. They are still not in the energy where they are able to open up and be vulnerable. I'm hearing if they are in a third party right now, like if they are in another relationship right now, it is a very shallow connection. It's more based on ego. It's more based on what you can do for me. And this person doesn't, um, this person's fine with having scraps. You know what I mean? They don't really love themselves very too much. And that's why they're with that person. That's for if this person's in a relationship. It's also not going to last because it's not based off of a true foundation. It's based off of ego. This person truly wants a full loving connection. And they know they could have that with you. You have such a Pisces cancer healing energy. But it's just like they have to shift and change with the eighth house they know that they have to change but it's like they're resisting it because again they're scared of their own feelings they're scared of their feelings taking control over them that's what they're scared of and that's something that they've got to learn what i'm hearing is you know a little bit of guidance for you is to you just keep going keep working on yourself keep giving yourself that self-love keep inserting your boundaries keep moving keep it pushing stay in your peaceful energy some of you guys I'm hearing maybe skipping your meditation so I'm being told from some spirit guide to start meditating in the morning when you wake up or doing some physical exercise or yoga in the morning when you wake up or just some affirmations to ground yourself because you are very high vibrational I'm hearing and that will really help you ground and stay mindful because I feel like sometimes you think back to this connection and spirit's calling you to stay very mindful but there needs there needed to be a shift in this connection anyway and this shift that's happening is very much supposed to be happening um I feel like you're doing what needs to be done I feel like they are still kind of lying to themselves um about the connection I do see them stepping towards you as well it won't be any time in the next maybe month or two. I feel like it will take a couple of months. They need to pluck up the courage and something needs to shift. But again, keep working on yourself. Do not wait for this person. Keep giving yourself that energy. Keep giving yourself that energy, you know? Um, it's They're not giving me an, a, a true indication of if this person's going to shift and change because this person has their own free will and they're stubborn as F. They're so stubborn and they lie to themselves too, I feel. So it's 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 very much like, you know, let's just see what happens there. But I just feel like you do not wait for this person. Just keep pushing forward. Keep moving forward, you know, keep doing for you and you'll be in alignment. You know what I mean? Anything that is for you is going to be for you. So remember, remember that. Um, So I hope that gave you an indication of who is looking at your social media. I hope you enjoyed. Hit the thumbs up and comment if this did resonate. Um, I'm sending you guys lots of love. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you're having a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey pal four, welcome to your reading. So we are currently taking a look at who is currently looking at your social media. So we are going to be taking a look at who this person may be and any information that comes in as to why they're looking at your social media and who they are. So Spirit, please can you tap me into the collective of pile number four? Um, okay, straight away I'm being shown that you used to text this person a lot. I'm seeing the keyboard with the emojis on an iPhone. Um, I feel like you used to text this person a lot. 
uh talk to this person a lot snapchat i'm being taken to as well um so this is somebody that you would have been in good communication with at one point um i don't feel that you're speaking very much right now and if you are it's very sporadic um pile four who is currently secretly watching their social media okay so we have the star this is somebody that i've <laughs> The star is obviously taking me to Aquarius energy and Aquarius in the 11th house. That's obviously to do with like online presences and the internet as well. So they are taking me once again to the internet. But I'm sharing that you had a good connection with this person at one point. I want to know what happened. Okay, we have the moon. Straight away as well with the star and the moon. I'm being taken to like night time, obviously. And I'm being taken to like, you used to stay up and talk to this person. Or you and this person used to talk at night. Or spend a lot of time together at night. I don't know why. I'm just being shown somebody. You could have even met up at night. You know what I mean? Or, or gone for late night drives or something like that, it feels. But there's just this night energy here. There's talking at night time. I'm seeing two people on a phone. Talking um pile four who is currently looking at pile number four social media they may also be looking at your social media at night um it could be that as well okay we have temperance and we have the five of wands <laughs> this person it, it's almost like they feel like there's a there's an energy with them like what do they want in regards to you like there's this energy of what do they want what do they want i feel like you're on a self-love wave i feel or you're just like learning to put in boundaries with people and you're learning to kind of um i don't know whether you're putting boundaries with this person this is hard energy to tap into i do want to say that so it may take me a quick a hot minute to type i can't even speak to try and get into the energy fully but like there's this energy of, I feel like this person tends to overextend themselves a lot in relationships or in friendships. They can be sometimes very full on. And I feel like you're learning self-love and boundaries and, and all that. And I just feel like they're kind of confused as to what you want, it feels. I want to get deeper because this isn't hard energy to get into. It's almost like you put in a boundary with this person and they don't understand it or they they they've taken it to heart it feels let me get deeper we have the six of yeah we have the six of pentacles i don't know whether you used to give a lot of energy to them and then maybe you pulled away or maybe they gave you a lot of energy and then they started pulling away but there's just this energy of it almost feels like runner chaser dynamic when you were giving them a lot of energy they may not have been and then when they were giving you a lot of energy you may not have been this is confusing me so let me try and get even deeper so apologies if it doesn't make sense pile four who is looking at pilot number four social media yeah this is somebody you've been back and forth with it's kind of a um i don't want to say toxic but it's just like it's a it's not a very grounded uh situation it could even be a friend guys we have the King of Swords. What am I? I, I want to get lay out the tarot and then try and channel because I just want to get like the full picture painted because it's kind of a hard. I also feel like you're confused about this person and they're confused about you. Um, pile number four. Who is looking at pile number four social media? Who is looking at pile number fours? social media okay 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 we have the seven of swords um who is looking at pile number four social media was someone playing games pile four or was they just like mm, we have the eight of pentacles and the back of the deck we have the nine of swords okay let me just put this down so <sighs> and you pick the black tourmaline too which helps remove any negative energy so i <sighs> there's this energy about this connection that i don't know whether it's a friendship i don't know whether it's a relationship but there's this energy that you start off very good it's very intense it comes in hot and heavy and then it breaks down it gets messy two people fall away but it's like runner chaser dynamic i'm being shown in this connection with the star and the moon i'm picking up this energy that there was a lot that 
I almost feel very daydreamy. I feel like there was a lot of hidden feelings in this connection. There was a lot of hidden goings on that either of you didn't know about. There was a lot of... It's like you're not seeing each other clearly. Like you and this person don't see each other clearly. There's a lot of distortion. There's a lot of... Um, there's more to it than meets the eye. There's I don't know whether you would create what you would like them to be in your head and then maybe, you know that that's how, maybe it was more texting than anything else so you had that space to be able to create something more than what they were in the head and put them on a pedestal vice versa but there's a lot of distortion in the way that you're both looking at each other it feels it's like you have the wrong idea of each other there's a lot of arguments i feel that would have happened in this connection or you would just bicker and and kind of go back and forth with each other it feels um you are learning more than them to look after yourself, self-love, work on yourself. I do feel like you've put in a boundary with this person. This caused a lot of conflict. This person's very ego. This person likes their ego being filled. This person likes their ego um, to be stroked. And I feel like you put in a boundary or maybe you call time on the situation because you kind of were like, okay, cut the BS. I'm, I'm going to work on myself because, I, you know, this isn't, this isn't grounding, this connection isn't grounding and that caused them to get angry or annoyed or maybe an argument occurred because they took the boundary as rejection I'm hearing and ran away and I just feel like you usually would overextend your energy in this connection but you pull back, you pull back and again there's this critical energy here where they feel like you did them wrong but then I'm like when I'm tapping into their energy they think that you did them wrong but when I'm tapping into your energy it's like they did you wrong and when I'm asking spirit it's just like the dynamic as it was in the past was not very healthy it was quite imbalanced I feel like maybe one or two of you don't want to hear that but that's what I'm hearing and it needed a breakdown because it wasn't being built on a solid foundation I feel like you overextended too much they didn't give enough there was a lot of dreaming there was a lot of fantasy there wasn't a lot of doing I don't know whose side is responsible for it I feel like you both kind of um I'm hearing you both made excuses for each other or you both made excuses like I feel like you told yourself, oh, this person isn't doing that because of this when really there's a lot of distortion. I can't even, it's, I'm finding it hard to break into this energy because it's, it's, it just feels so complicated. Like it, I feel like the five of wands when I tap into this energy, this person still, this person wants you back. If so, this person wants to be in your life, but it's like, <sighs> there's a question of how here there's i'm being shown um a house in shatters on the floor like we've tried to build this house but it kept falling down i'm hearing the kilani song um footsteps um where she basically sings about building a house on a beach with somebody but then the tide would come and wash it away every time that they tried to build it and she sings i left footsteps in the mud so you could follow me so it's like even though everything crashed and burned each party would hold the door open for the other one to come back because there was still a draw there and I feel like that's in this connection I feel like you both still you've been going round and round in circles in this connection and you've been holding the door open for each other to come back I feel like you came into this reading also thinking that they may be looking at your social media like there's an energy here of you think of them they think of you they still want to work on building something with you but there needs to be a change in the energy if you ever step towards this connection again. Um, I would say for you to keep working on yourself right now because I feel like you're learning to ground yourself, not overextend yourself and not, you know, listen to your intuition. Because I feel like a lot of the times in this connection you didn't listen to your intuition and things ended up falling down. I don't know how long ago this was either for some of you this was a while ago and then for some of you this is a connection that maybe you've even doubted for some of you and then for others of you it's like um you do still hold the door open for this person it's it's different scenarios for you all so take it as you know it resonates because this is a general reading but like they're wanting to come back they're wanting to step back 
and with a nine of swords here i feel like there was a lot of heartache there was a lot of grief there was a lot of every time it ended i feel like it was quite dramatic or it was just like there was arguments had there was two egos that would clash um it doesn't feel the healthiest when you were in it guys i have to be completely honest with you and the fact that you picked the black tourmaline as well it doesn't feel the healthiest and with the high priestess here um i feel like spirits calling you with this connection to listen to your intuition because i do feel like this person will be back because i feel like you're aware this person will be back i'm being told you're already aware of that because they always do come back but it's just like a dynamic needs to shift you there's a karmic lesson that you're supposed to learn in this connection um that connection is and i'm being told to say the same and i've said it a few times on my channel and it is bees with honey in their mouth have stings in their tails i know you probably don't want to hear that but i just feel like they <sighs> i feel like you're very self-aware and you do call your own self out on your own bs when you need to and i feel like you've known you know i, I shouldn't really be going back to this connection etc and you know where you go wrong and you hold yourself accountable for that whereas i feel like this person does not this person is still a little bit reckless in how they're moving towards the connection they're still very wishy-washy um i that's what i'm picking up whereas i feel like you are moving now into a state where you are a little bit calmer but there is still a sense of healing needing to be had because that door is still open and obviously listen to your intuition because this is a general reading but i would just say for right now to leave this connection where it is if they do step towards you that's my advice you don't have to take it um just because it doesn't feel to be in, in, a, in a true connection with somebody you have to have this essence of peace and love and i just don't feel that that's here yet it could very well be in the future but this person i just feel like there's this energy right now like they want to get your attention they want you back they want to they're in chase their energy it feels right now when the connection fell down i feel like they were in runner energy but now they're back in chaser energy because I feel like you go back and forth through this. They're in chaser energy right now. They are looking at your social media. They do want you to be given that energy back. Maybe they see you giving it to them into, to yourselves and it's kind of confusing them because I feel like maybe you lacked boundaries in the past and now they see you doing good. It's like, wait, 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 what are they? You know what I mean? Who are they giving that energy to? Wait. And I feel like with the six of pentacles here, I feel like in the past you overgave and they want that energy where you would overgive again they want that they want you to chase them so they're going to come in with the chasey energy it feels are they i don't even think it's not even in a way of like i'm doing this to be a, a dick it's in a way of like i'm doing this because i'm not self-aware and i don't know any better that's how it feels from them and i just feel like they want to work they tell themselves they want to work on something they are wanting to step towards you you look like a prize that they want right now but you need to see the card that's on top which is the seven of swords which is not a very hearty energy they're not in their hearty energy they have a very confusing energy i really i'm glad i got black tourmaline ramanak that's all i'm saying they, they're very confused they i don't even think they understand what love is like they just feel like the type that would probably romanticize harley quinn and the joker you know what i mean like which is kind of toxic connection but that's the way it feels this does feel a little bit karmic in nature and they're on your social media a lot right now in the sense of i want to get this person's attention maybe they're swiping up because i did feel like you may be in connection with this person the other three it was like they weren't talking but with you guys it's like they may be still communicating with you in some ways but it's very flip on it's very far and in between little texts to your you know little swipe up to your story maybe just following you then unfollowing you or liking photos to get your attention but i feel like they're in an energy where they're trying to get your attention i feel like you're aware that they're on your social media and if you're not you will be aware soon um so let's get a little bit deeper i just as a friend to you guys i would just say keep focusing on yourself and that would be my advice to just keep focusing on yourself and and not pay too much attention to this connection because this person has a lot to heal and even sometimes even when they tell themselves they want to move forward they keep returning back to factory settings they have a lot they need to let go of but it's this energy of not wanting to yet um and if you guys you know were with if you guys were like one of my you know friends like Nara Sam, like one of my friends i would say like don't like just be careful please 
that's what I would say. And I have to be honest with you as, you, you know, your tarot reader, because that's the energy that I'm picking up here. So if you don't want to hear it and you don't like that message, you have every right to discard it. You have free will. But that would be my advice to you. Um, I feel like you deserve so much better than this flippant energy, personally. Um, yeah, okay, we have pride. I do feel like you give this person a lot of love. Um, you big this person up. You try and be their best friend. I feel like you're aware of toxic traits that they have. And I feel like they like that you ride for them. But I just don't feel that... You know, they don't ride for themselves and they need to work on self-love and you turning inward and doing that it confuses them because they don't even get it because they don't do it for themselves and with the pride card here i just feel like they're very much uh, this feels kind of childlike energy they don't want to grow up it's like let's just play this game again and it's i don't feel like you're truly there i feel like you are stepping out of it and you're like no i want a genuine connection now i'm working on myself i don't you know i i don't feel like you I feel like you're really stepping out of a time where you really ride it, like you rode for this connection. I don't feel like you're there anymore. I feel like you are stepping away and being like, this is a lost cause, you know? Um, that is what I'm feeling. And with perseverance, I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. I feel like this person does enjoy the chase of trying to have you turn your head back to them. This person does enjoy the chase of that. And I feel like you've both been going around in this chaser runner dynamic. And now this person's all over your social media trying to come back with that same energy. And I feel like they're very good with their words and they're very persevering. They'll just say anything, you know? And I'm not saying like what they're saying to you is a lie. It's what they know at the time. But I just feel like they're not very in the heart chakra to act from a true, genuine place. I'm not saying they completely lie, but they words come very easy to them. Words come very easy to them. I wouldn't be fooled by their words. You want to look at their actions, is what I'm being told. Um, but they are heavy on your social media. They find you very alluring. They think about you at, at night a lot. Very alluring. Very attracted to you. You're someone that they keep thinking back to a lot. Um, they do run back to you a lot. Very drawn to you like that. But, you know, it's... I don't know we have the first house the body I feel like this person relies on other people for a sense of self I feel like this person relies on people bigging them up people bigging up their ego for their sense of self I feel like they don't have a very good sense of self and again with the body like I am here and they are very attracted to your body your looks who you are but it's like this doesn't feel like it's funny because you there's these deep feelings of intensity here but I don't feel like you've ever got deep deep like there's no hearty deep deep like talking about what happened to you when you were three years old you know that type of stuff it's like you you talk so much but it is almost shallow and even though there are words said they're just like romantic words or just words where they're in their chaser energy it's I don't know <laughs> It's, it's very just like surface level, it feels, but then there is this drive between the two of you. I feel like it almost feels like wound mates, like you had a wound, they had a wound and it may run, but now you're working on healing this wound or you're starting to heal this wound. You're going out of this connection, but they're still trying the same or they're thinking about trying the same thing, you know? But they're really looking at your social media really strongly right now. They're back in their chaser energy. They're wanting you. Um, but I feel like you're really going to tell them straight, pile four. I just feel like you're done with this situation now. I feel like you, you're you done with it. You've moved on. You don't want this type of connection anymore. It's it's over. You know, you're ready for an actual love. Now you've been working on yourself. I feel like it might have been a little bit of time since you spoke. I don't know, but... Yeah, I feel like you're, you are coming out of this energy where you're over this connection, over the situation. They don't get it, though. They don't get it. They're confused. They're still trying to come back. And I, I do want to warn you in the sense of them coming back because just look at these. Like, it's, you know, um, I feel like you know this, though. Like, I really do feel like you, there was a point where you really started to work on yourself. And now you're very wise to that words I'm hearing. 
um there's almost a the spirit of kind of comfort in me in a sense because i like want to you know make sure that you're making the right decision but spirit of kind of comfort in me in the sense that they're saying they know like it's okay they know they're kind of reassuring me like you, your head's on right where you're at right now and you wouldn't go back or you wouldn't fall for it or you'd put in healthy boundaries you know um yeah so that hasn't shocked me that you picked the black tourmaline at all. But this person is heavy. Like, I'm, I'm being told to say this person's heavy on your social media right now. Heavy on your social media. Um, yeah, so that is what I have for you guys, pile four. If this resonated, comment down below. Give a thumbs up. I hope you guys have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching.